Today, uh, we will be demonstrating the, how to set up the servo eye for patients of mechanical ventilation. First, I would like uh, to start off by just uh, going through some of the external the features of this uh, ventilator. So this uh, servo eye comes with a tower that's supplied by McKay. First of all, I'd just like to show where is the on-off uh, power switch. It's actually the, located at the back of the screen. There's this little flap that you can actually push down and you can turn to, to the on and off um, position. Right. At the back, there's also a lever here that is used to actually adjust the screen up and down. On this side is where the inspiratory inlet and the expiratory the exhaust is. So this is where we actually the connect the inspiratory and expiratory limb of the patient the circuit. Hooked to the top is actually a gas uh, tubing that is actually needed for us uh, to do the um, pre-setup um, uh, test. And at the bottom, we have uh, several uh, modules where we can actually add the uh, features uh, to the ventilator as well as uh, adding in the extra the batteries. So for the screen itself, you can actually the press this lever to actually tilt it to the left and right. The, there's a cover at the lower end to actually protect uh, some of the buttons down that actually you can use to adjust a certain patient uh, ventilator. The screen itself is a touch uh, screen augmented by buttons uh, at the side. The other side is where the gas uh, holes as well as the power the cable is actually the connected. Make sure that the, we do not have anything that is actually blocking the exhaust uh, host. Okay, with that, that, that's all for the external the features of the uh, servo eye. So before we put the uh, servo eye on the, uh, on the patient, we need to do a pre-test. All right, so the, when you wake this patient up, uh, ventilator up from the standby the mode, they will have a prompt to actually tell you that the, whether you want to do a pre-use uh, check as well as a patient uh, circuit uh, test. So we will start uh, with the pre-use uh, check. Press the button to activate. Confirm that uh, we want to start the pre-use uh, check. All right. So your ventilator uh, should come with, with a gas uh, tubing. Okay, this gas tubing is actually used as part of the pre-use uh, check. What you need to do is to actually install the gas tubing into the inspiratory as well as the expiratory limb. Make sure that it's uh, tightly uh, screwed in. Once uh, that is done, they will actually detect Alright, so this is the part where they will ask you to disconnect. So I've actually switched off the power supply. And then they're asking you to restart the power supply. And now is the part where we connect the patient uh, circuit. So at this time point, uh, you will take out the gas uh, tubing. All right, and connect the inspiratory limb with the bacterial the filter to the inspiratory inlet and then the, the expiratory the exhaust uh, with the HEPA filter the pre-installed. Make sure that both are very, very tight and there's no leak. And they also ask you to put in the uh, block at the wider connector. Once that is done, you just press OK. Now the instruction is uh, whether do we want to compensate for compressible volume. We will always uh, put yes. So now that you have said that the, the pre-use check has passed, you just click OK. And uh, they will prop up a screen that is asking you whether you want to erase the previous uh, user setting. If this is uh, for a new the patient, you just put yes. And once that is done, uh, you'll be ready to, to um, set the settings uh, for the new the patient.
So now that we are ready to, to set up the servo eye to, on a patient that's mechanically the ventilated, this is the standby the screen. At the start, you have options uh, to uh, put the patient on the invasive or non-invasive uh, ventilation. So for this uh, particular the scenario, uh, we are highlighting the invasive uh, ventilation. So when you click on it, it will turn to white. You can then uh, set the mode for the invasive mechanical vision. And this option is on the top, the left hand uh, corner. When you press it, you will get the various uh, modes that is already preloaded uh, into the uh, software of the system. So the, for this particular machine, there's volume control, pressure control, PH slash CPAP, which is the pressure support uh, equivalent on other ventilator, as well as the uh, SINV either in the volume or pressure the control. So for this uh, particular the example, we will be using the volume the control. When that is pressed, you will be able to set the uh, various um, variables. Because this is volume controlled, we are allowed uh, to actually the let the ventilator know what volume we are targeting. So the, this is similar for any other patients when we are initiating mechanical ventilator. The uh, appropriate uh, initial setting would be about 6 to 8 mils of ideal the body weight. And you can adjust it by pressing down on the button and turning the blue down at the side. Once you are comfortable with the volume, you can press down on the dial to lock it in. You can also use the dial to actually the, go to the different um, components, different variables, or you can just uh, touch the screen itself to select the specific buttons that you want to choose. Right? So for a patient a respiratory rate, we can set it uh, close to what the patient was breathing prior to the intub uh, intubation. Next, we have the PEEP. All right? Generally, though, we start with at least a PEEP of 5 for most of our patients. The inspired uh, O2, we can also dial it up. I would suggest that we will start off with 100% oxygen. At certain point, uh, they will actually the, the pop up an alarm which tells you that uh, this is a relatively high the setting. You can uh, still continue to go up by continuing to turning the dial to the level of uh, oxygen that you want. Once you are happy, press down on the dial to select it. In this uh, servo eye, the inspiratory to expiratory ratio, you can actually the, control it by adjusting it uh, directly, all right? But uh, note that these numbers may be changed the ex when uh, relative uh, to the frequency as well as the volume the, that you set. For example, even though I put a ratio of one is to three, if my respiratory rate goes up very, very high, which means that the total respiratory cycle is very, very short and the absolute uh, expiratory time you can infer by looking at the top right hand uh, corner the ventilator actually gives you information about what is the inspiratory time T pause is the time that uh, the ventilator the will have an inspiratory hole after a breath is being delivered in volume control we generally tend uh, to keep uh, the inspiratory time the pause to be zero Rise time is uh, related uh, to how fast uh, this breath is being delivered. A uh, general uh, setting to start off with is um, 5% and you can uh, increase uh, every incremental about 5% each. Trigger is how the ventilator will be able to sense whether a patient is um, about to take a breath. You can, uh, in this particular setting, the, this is in flow and uh, a typical the start off point will be about the 2 to 3. as your trigger. All right. Once uh, everything uh, is set, you are happy with the setting, just press accept and you go back to the standby the mode. Once you are ready to put this patient on a mechanical ventilator, you just need to press the standby button at the bottom to the left hand the corner right? and the ventilator will start the delivering the breath uh, to the patient. Okay, so we have um, set our initial setting for the patient and the patient is connected to, to the ventilator and the ventilator is delivering the uh, required uh, settings. So now the, let's look at the interface uh, proper. So the servo eye has a touch base um, screen with uh, buttons at the side to enable the quick access. 
in terms of its uh, layout, uh, the majority of the screen is actually the manifest as the waveforms. This allow us to actually the, um, review the waveform to look for any features of uh, the synchrony. At the bottom, you have access uh, to some uh, quick settings where you can actually make adjustments without going into the main menu. And uh, so depending on the what mode you are, you will have access uh, to settings like the delivered the oxygen, PEEP, respiratory rate, as well as the delivered the tidal volume in volume control. You can make a quick adjustment by lifting up the cover and just turning the dial all right, to the desired uh, level that you want. You do not really need uh, to press any accept uh, button and you'll be, uh, the changes will be made uh, instantly. Alternatively, you can press down on the, uh, uh, on the main uh, control and adjust it through the main uh, menu. Okay. On the right hand side of the screen, there will be a column of uh, parameters. These are actually the measured parameters that detected from the patient and they are colored or coded depending on the categories. In yellow are the pressures. You will notice that uh, they will give you the peak airway pressure as well as the mean and the peak pressure. On the corner, you will see that there are smaller the uh, numbers. These are actually the uh, upper limit and lower limit of uh, alarm the setting. So when there's an issue the, with the um, patient's uh, breath, um, any the alarms uh, will be reflected up by a blinking the light and you also see messages uh, coming to cross. For example, uh, let's uh, demonstrate uh, an uh, error the message. So you can hear the alarm. Right now, the, what is uh, reflected here is the peak airway pressure is very, very high and that is reflected by the blinking the red light as well as a message to tell you uh, what is the problem. All right, so to um, go back to the patient, examine the patient, examine the circuit, and then to correct it on the ventilator. So to silence the alarm, you just need to press the uh, top, the right hand uh, button. All right. On the left hand corner, the, besides uh, this uh, information, you also have information about the oxygen uh, sensor, how much oxygen is detected, the respiratory rate of the patient, as well as the volume in tidal volume as well as a minute um, ventilation. You can have access to additional parameters by touching on the additional the values and that will give you other parameters uh, such as the uh, auto peep measurements. Um, the, um, and if you press one more, you have another layer of information such as uh, the compliance and resistance of the circuit. You can always press the main screen to go back uh, to the original the interface uh, that you see here. Um, after you have set the patient, very often we also need uh, to adjust the alarm the profile. This will give the ventilator the, the limit, the upper and lower limit of when the, it should sound out the, to the care provider. So when you press the alarm the profile, you'll go into this screen and you can actually make the adjustments for things like the pressure, minute volume, respiratory rate, as well as the anaspiratory the pressure. And you can make uh, adjustments uh, to the limit by pressing the button and then um, adjusting the dial and pressing down to, to select. To go back to the main screen, you just have to press the uh, main profile again. All right. So you also notice that when the patient is trying to make a spontaneous effort and is triggering on the ventilator, there's a little T uh, uh, icon that will be shown on the screen. So that will tell you that this is a triggered breath because the patient is trying to breathe. If this is a mandated uh, breath, then the, the T sign will disappear. Okay, in this segment, we will demonstrate respiratory maneuvers that you can do to understand more about the patient's uh, lung mechanics. The two common respiratory maneuvers are an inspiratory hole as well as an expiratory hole looking at the, the plateau pressure as well as the total the PEEP respectively. In order to activate the, the maneuvers, first of all, you need to go to the parameter screen that will actually the reflect uh, what uh, pressure that you want to measure. 
So the, for example, in inspiratory hole, you want to look at plateau pressure. So once you are in that the screen, you can press the inspiratory hole the button at located at the bottom right hand the corner. As you press, the patient, uh, the ventilator will actually induce an inspiratory hole and the plateau the pressure will be the reflected uh, on the screen. Okay, if you want to do an aspiratory hole looking at the uh, total the PEEP, similarly, you go to the screen that actually the, will reflect the plateau, the total plateau the pressure. The expiratory hole button is just next uh, to the inspiratory hole and as you activate, the pressure the, will equalize and you will see that the total the PEEP is 5 which is similar to the set uh, PEEP so this patient uh, do not have a significant uh, auto PEEP uh, issue All right. Lastly, the, for nursing who require to do uh, toileting for the patient such as uh, suctioning you can pre-oxygenate the patient by assessing the suction the support once that is pressed, the ventilator will deliver 100% uh, oxygen right? and the patient and nurses can proceed uh, to do the airway the suctioning for the patient.